years lost, lives put on hold, all for crimes they didn't commit. Well, now there's a new push to fairly compensate people set free after spending decades behind bars. Five Investigates has been covering this issue for years now. Our Mike Bodette was at the State House today where the human cost, Mike, was on full display. It really was, Maria. People who've been wrongfully convicted leave prison with their freedom, but without any money or support from the state. Advocates want to change this and spoke outside the state house today before going inside to talk with lawmakers and make their case for changing the law. How many years did you spend in prison? Um, I was in prison for, to be exact, 21 years, seven months and 29 days. For a crime you didn't commit? For a crime I didn't commit. Sean Ellis was convicted of the 1993 murder of Boston police detective John Mulligan. He was freed in 2015 after police corruption and prosecutorial misconduct came to light. But when I came home, I came home to nothing other than, other than the people um, that was there supporting me. Ellis eventually received a multi-million dollar settlement from the city of Boston. He joined others who've been wrongfully convicted on this International Wrongful Conviction Day to press lawmakers to pass legislation that would give $20,000 to the wrongfully convicted while they're awaiting a compensation trial and lift the $1 million cap on wrongful conviction claims against the state. Last year, a jury awarded Fred Weichel $33 million for his wrongful murder conviction, but the award was reduced to $1 million because of the cap. Hi, my name's Dennis Mayer. I spent 19 years, two months, and 29 days in prison. I was exonerated through the use of DNA. Mayer was convicted of rape and assault and battery charges. He was released in 2003. In 2003, there was nothing. There was no bills, no help, no anything. Lisa Kavanaugh is a lawyer who represents the wrongfully convicted. It is shocking to see just how little the state does to help that person rebuild what has been lost. It should not take a lawsuit and years of waiting for our state to do right by those our criminal legal system has harmed and failed. We are not doing enough. State Senator Patricia Jalen is sponsoring the bill. The main thing that people need is to get help immediately and not to wait for even up to two years to get any kind of compensation. There are three wrongful conviction compensation reform bills under, consider under consideration in the Judiciary Committee. Senator Jalen tells me she's hopeful something will move forward this legislative session. The Attorney General told me she supports lifting the compensation claims cap. The governor would not commit to that, but says she'll review any legislation that gets to her desk.